In 2016, television was forever changed with the debut of Fleabag, a raw, funny, and emotionally complex show that redefined what comedy drama could be. Created by and starring Phoebe Waller-Bridge, Fleabag began as a one-woman play performed at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival in 2013 before making its leap to the small screen. The show's candid portrayal of modern womanhood, grief, love, sex, and guilt captivated audiences, quickly becoming a cultural touchstone. With its unapologetically flawed heroine, breaking of the fourth wall, and razor-sharp humor, Fleabag not only became a critical success but also revolutionized how stories about women were told on television. The character of Fleabag, her real name is never revealed, is a deeply complex woman living in London, grappling with the loss of her best friend Boo, navigating difficult family dynamics, and stumbling through a series of dysfunctional relationships. What sets Fleabag apart is the character's frequent direct address to the camera, inviting the audience into her inner world as both confidant and co-conspirator. This groundbreaking narrative technique allows the viewer to experience her thoughts, emotions, and contradictions in real time, creating a unique intimacy that feels both personal and transgressive. Phoebe Waller-Bridge's journey to creating Fleabag began when she was commissioned to perform a 10-minute sketch for a storytelling night in London. This short piece would eventually evolve into the full-length play that debuted at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival. The play received rave reviews, with Waller-Bridge praised for her bold and brash portrayal of a woman unafraid to expose her most vulnerable and unflattering moments. The success of the play caught the attention of producers, leading to its adaptation as a television series with BBC Three and later Amazon Prime. When Fleabag premiered in 2016, it immediately stood out in the crowded television landscape. The show was unlike anything else on air, blending biting wit with searing emotional depth. Fleabag's humor was dark, often rooted in uncomfortable truths about relationships, loneliness, and self-destruction. Yet, for all its sharp edges, the show never lost sight of its emotional core. Underneath the humor was a story about loss, healing, and the search for connection in a world that often feels indifferent. The show's brilliance lies in Waller-Bridge's ability to balance comedy and drama effortlessly. Fleabag is not a likable protagonist in the traditional sense, she is often selfish, impulsive, and dishonest. But it's her flaws that make her so deeply relatable. She is a woman grappling with the messiness of life, and her struggle to find meaning, self-worth, and redemption is universal. The fourth wall breaks, which could have felt gimmicky in lesser hands, instead deepen the character's relationship with the audience. We see her bravado, but also her vulnerability, making us complicit in her worst decisions and sympathetic to her pain. One of the show's most striking aspects is how it portrays relationships. Fleabag's relationship with her family, particularly her strained interactions with her emotionally distant father and passive-aggressive godmother, played by Olivia Colman, offers a glimpse into the emotional baggage she carries. Meanwhile, her romantic entanglements are often disastrous, leading to some of the show's funniest and most heartbreaking moments. The series delves into the complexities of desire, intimacy, and the way people often use sex to fill emotional voids. Fleabag also touches on themes of grief, most notably in the way Fleabag deals with the death of her best friend Boo for which she feels deeply responsible. The show doesn't shy away from the darker aspects of life, guilt, shame, and self-loathing are constant undercurrents, but it also finds moments of tenderness and hope. The second season, in particular, delves even deeper into these themes, exploring Fleabag's spiritual crisis through her complicated relationship with the hot priest, played by Andrew Scott, who becomes a central figure in her journey towards self-acceptance. The second season, which aired in 2019, was hailed as a masterpiece, winning multiple awards, including several primetime Emmy Awards, with Waller-Bridge taking home awards for Outstanding Lead Actress and Outstanding Writing. It also solidified Fleabag's place as one of the defining television shows of the 21st century. The chemistry between Waller-Bridge and Scott electrified audiences, and the priest's resistance to breaking the fourth wall became one of the most talked-about narrative devices in television history. 
What makes Fleabag so revolutionary is its fearlessness in telling the truth about the female experience. It doesn't sanitize or romanticize its protagonist's journey. Fleabag's messiness is part of her charm, and her story reflects the complexities of real life, where mistakes are made, hearts are broken, and healing is never straightforward. The show's unapologetic exploration of sexuality, feminism, and mental health resonated with viewers worldwide, especially women who saw their own struggles reflected in Fleabag's journey. Fleabag's success also opened doors for more female-driven narratives on television, proving that stories centered on women's experiences, told with honesty, humor, and vulnerability, could find wide audiences and critical acclaim. It sparked discussions about gender, relationships, and the nature of personal growth, and Waller Bridge herself became a leading voice in modern television, known for her sharp writing and fearless storytelling. Even though Fleabag concluded after just two seasons, its impact continues to be felt. The show remains a cultural phenomenon, often cited as one of the best TV series of all time. Its blend of humor, heartache, and raw honesty, coupled with Waller Bridge's groundbreaking performance, has cemented Fleabag as a show that redefined what television could be.